first, can you talk a little bit about um, you know, when, this, when this idea came about and how long it's kind of been in the works? Uh, the uh, movie idea basically came as a result of uh, writing three books and, um, and giving lots of conferences. Uh, folks, uh, first when I started giving conferences said, you know, you ought to write a book. I wrote a book, then they said, you ought to write a children's book. So I wrote a children's book, then the uh, editors, uh, publishers said, you ought to write a middle reader book. So we wrote the middle reader book. And then after that, people started saying, this uh, story belongs in the movies. And it wasn't until a uh, production house, uh, Select Films, approached me, uh, and they looked pretty uh, legitimate, pretty viable, because they had experience. They had produced already and filmed uh, McFarland USA, Secretariat, Million Dollar Arms. So they were, uh, they had a special niche for inspirational films. And because of that, that's, that's I decided, hey, I'm gonna go with these guys because these guys are the real deal. And then uh, we went and visit studios, and most of them said yes. And we ended up in uh, Amazon Prime Video. Wow. And uh, you know, the movies, uh, it hasn't been released you know, to the public yet, um, but you've obviously had one screening so far and another one coming out this evening. I mean, how does it feel to be able to, to share your, your inspirational story in, in this form, in this different way? It's very humbling uh, to be able to share my story in this form. Uh, it's sort of been a growing process because when I got selected as an astronaut, uh, quite honestly, I, I did it for selfish reasons. I want to go to space, but then I, I realized that how much uh, attention was being put on me. I realized I became an instant role model and I embraced that. Uh, probably became the poster child for NASA. Mm -hmm. And when I went out and talked to the community, and when I left NASA, I became a public speaker. So I was reaching hundreds of people, or thousands of people. And with my books, you know, I was reaching tens of thousands of people. And so the next progression is, hey, let's reach out to millions of people. And uh, here we are ready to uh, release a million miles away, September 15th to more than 240 countries at once. Wow. Um, and, uh for, you know, this event tonight will be at UOP, your alma mater. Uh, for people who, who are there, or I mean, just you know, people in general, the youth, um, who, you know, coming from places like Stockton where there might not be as many opportunities, you know, as other cities, uh, what would be your message to the youth? I think one can create opportunities if one is willing to work hard. Don't be afraid to dream big. Uh, you know, the American dream is alive and well if you're willing to work hard for it and prepare yourself according to the challenge you pick. And don't be afraid to uh, pick big challenges because, uh, you know, you follow my father's recipe and you sprinkle perseverance and you too can reach for the stars. Awesome. I love that line. Um, uh, uh, what, what, do you think, what do you hope people will take away from the movie? I think uh, what people will take away from the movie is the fact that, uh, you know, the, there's the fighting spirit of never giving up. I'm hoping that this uh, empowers people to, uh, to say, hey, I, we all have goals, I have my goal, but after seeing this film, the, my goal is up here now, mm -hmm. and I want to reach my maximum potential, and that's what I'm hoping uh, my film does. Awesome. I remember when I was younger, um, you know, I, I remember hearing about you, since you were from Stockton, going up in, on, uh, on the shuttle, something I watched. Um, what, talk about what you've been doing lately with your, with your organization. Uh, well, uh, you know, I left NASA, retired in 2011, and I started my own consulting business, Tierra Luna Engineering. And I do, I travel all over the world uh, doing consulting for companies. And, uh, and I've written several books, as I mentioned earlier. I'm a uh, professional speaker, motivational speaker. And uh, then I've come full circle, if you will. You know, there's a saying, you can take the kid out of the farm, but not the farm out of the kid. And... Uh, I have my own vineyard, so uh, together with my father, you know, I, I, I basically uh, work in the vineyard, uh, but didn't stop there. I went ahead and uh, learned a little bit about winemaking and, uh, and now produce my own lines of wine under the label Tierra Luna Cellars. And uh, we're pretty happy because, you know, you always got to put goals in front of you and that's what I'm doing. Hmm. Awesome. Um, I mean, last kind of question here. Uh, how does it feel going back to your, to your alma mater tonight, being able to, to showcase this film and you know, kind of chronicling your, your entire career, your life so far? It's always good to go back to your alma mater, but this is especially special 
not because it's my alma mater, but also my son's and daughter's alma mater. My son just graduated from Purdue with a PhD in aerospace engineering. Uh, guess what he wants to be when he grows up. So, uh, so he's going back to his alma mater, UOP, tonight with me. And, uh, and I'm, I'm going to be so happy to be able to brag about him and uh, his sister, who got a, uh, a master's in data science there at UOP as well. Awesome. That's all my questions. Anything else you think people should know or that you want to add? I, the only thing I, I would add is, uh, is actually the uh, recipe my father gave me when I told him as a 10-year-old I wanted to be an astronaut. He put it very simple. He said, uh, define your purpose in life. Recognize how far you are. Uh, draw yourself a roadmap. Prepare yourself accordingly. And work hard. I had the sixth ingredient, which is perseverance, uh, because NASA rejected me 11 times. It wasn't until the 12th time that I finally got selected. So uh, think about that whenever you think about giving up on a goal. Yeah, have you really tried hard enough? Have you learned from the failures? And are you willing to give it another shot? I certainly was. And let me tell you, blasting off into space, it was worth it.